Welcome back to the GMA3. That was their hit song, Five More Minutes. This husband-wife duo emerging as one of the most exciting new acts in music and were named the 2022 Duo Group of the Year by the American Music Association. I mean, are you surprised? We're not. They formed back in 2014 and recently released their major label debut album, Lover's Game, and they are joining us right now. Please welcome award-winning duo, The War and Treaty, Tanya Trotter and Michael Trotter Jr. <laughs> Good to see you guys. We were watching y'all kissing before. I know. I was like, you guys make black love look good, and I love to see it. So you guys met back in 2010. Yes. Who hit on who? Be honest. Well, mm -hmm. it was kind of weird. We kind of, when we met. She hit on me. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Get to I mean, the I'm story. trying to keep it clean <laughs> because it's morning TV. But yeah. <laughs> Lady, please, please. Well, when did you guys realize that you had something special when it comes to music? A friend of ours actually heard us sing together, and we were kind of working separately as um, solo artists, and she heard us singing together. And she said, do you guys hear that? We were married by this time for about three years, and we were like, not really. And so we, we ended up doing a song together, and we wow. performed this song at a church, and we were able to say, you know, some very romantic and intimate things in this song at a church service. Mm -hmm. So we realized that not only can we sing together, but we can kind of make googly eyes together, <laughs> you know, as we were singing songs together. And we formed our, our duo, and Michael started introducing me to his songwriting, and I was completely blown away. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It's such an incredible story. Mm -hmm. I mean, Tanya, you've been for a long time putting out music independently. This is your major label debut. You guys have over 100 songs. Oh, we have a lot of songs, but <laughs> you all know of 100 songs. I have 2,000 or more songs in my head that Michael wrote. <laughs> How do you choose which songs that you guys put out? Oh, um, goodness, it's, it's very difficult, but we look at the times you know, that we're living in, and, and, and we look at what our contribution can be to our world, and, and um, that's how we decide, you know, what to put out and when to do it, so. And Michael, talk about contributing to our world. You've been very open about your mental health journey, and I'm just wondering, how has your songwriting informed that process for you? Oh boy, well, I think that, um, thank God we're living in a day and age where it is, uh, it is very um, welcomed. Mm you know, and accept it to talk about uh, mental health out loud. And it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's something that every last one of us, uh, we go through. But it helps because I know that there's healing on the other side of that. So to be able to, you know, e express my journey, to be able to talk about how I got PTSD and, and um, how I was saved, you know, by love, um, particularly the love of my wife, my family, my children, and my community. Um, I know what what the healing power of music can do and that right there makes me fearless and, and, and not guarded and just sharing it with the world. Yeah, and talk about healing power there. Mm -hmm. I tell you, your music, you know, pretty much talks about hope and healing. Uh, what's the story behind all of that and how did you come into that, that moment where you wanted to sort of help people go beyond just creating music and a sound? I think it's important for us all to realize that we're connected and that, you know, when you walk past a person, you can actually feel, if you see them going through something, you can feel it. So with our music, we wanted to have a soundtrack so that people could listen to when we're not around them or when they're not at a show, they'd be able to take our lyrics and our sound and heal themselves. And it's healing to us as well, you know, as, as a husband and wife, it's healed us throughout our own marriage. Sometimes we'll listen to our own songs and cry, you know, you're having a bad day. So, and I think that's very important for us to realize that we all have the power to heal one another. Yeah, thank you again, <laughs> Ty and Michael, uh, for joining us. And make sure to check out the War and Treaties album, Lover's Game, available right now everywhere that music is sold and streamed. And for all of you at home who want to listen, you can listen to them, the War and Treaty, on our GMA3 playlist by scanning that QR code right there on your screen. And now, here is the War and Treaty performing their hit song, Ain't No Harming Me. Hey, take it away, <laughs> take it away. Blazing gone. 
GMA fans, Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.